Okay, uh, hello everyone. Today we are learning the kitchen and the wardrobe fast quotation. As we know, the quotation is a very important job for us, especially for the designer. In OPAN, we have two main quotation methods. One is unique quotation, which we also call it accurate quotation. The price from this method is the final price. But before we do the unique quotation, we must finish all the detailed design of the kitchen the base camp plan drawings, the wall camp plan drawings, and elevation, the counter plan drawings. And we should know all the material information, the hardware information, the accessories and appliance information. Then we can do the unit creation. So this process will take time to complete it, maybe for a few hours or a few days. Okay. Another quotation method is fast quotation, which we are learning today. This method is very practical, especially for the showroom. Suppose that a customer comes to our showroom, he gives us all the kitchen size and all the material information, but he won't know the, the price. He won't know the price immediately. In that case, we can use the fast quotation. To make the roughly price. If this price can meet the customer's budget, then we can do the detailed design and do the unit creation. And this process can make our work more efficient. Okay, now we begin to learn the first question. First is for the kitchen, first question. And we will take some example to learn it. Okay, this is the kitchen, one set of kitchen. Uh, as you know, here's base camp plan, wall camp plan, and the elevation. Here is the counter plan. This is the airship kitchen with Allen. Airship, Allen. Here is three tall cabinet, and here is the base cabinet. Base cabinet. The Allen is also base cabinet. The wall cabinet. It's all only three, three wall cabinet. 30, 40, and 50, three wall cabinet. And the material information, the door is lacquer on one side. And the finished material is KQ008. And the door style is JT. The carcass, the carcass is just the plastic boot, the common carcass material. Okay, now we do the first question of this kitchen. Okay, first we open the first collection sheet of kitchen, this one. The currency of the of this uh, first collection is US dollar. So first we must input the exchange rate of the US dollar to MB. Suppose this exchange rate now is six point one, so we input six point one. Okay. Next is for the carcass. As we know, for the kitchen carcass, we have two options. One is for plywood, another is for the paddock wood. But in this kitchen, we use paddock wood, so we must select paddock wood. Okay, grade B, paddock wood. Next is for the carcass cord. This is just for the carcass color. Different kind of cord, the color is different. Suppose we, you use this color, WBGB08. Okay, next is for the assembly package. As we know, for the old pack cabinet, we have two package ways. One is assembly package, one is flat package. If we choose a simple package, which means its coefficient is 1.07. If we choose a flat package, and this coefficient is 1. And in this, ki this kitchen, we choose the flat package. So the coefficient is one. We make it. Okay. Next is for the base cabinet. First, we should choose the code number. This code number is the finished material code of the base cabinet door. By the way, this 
code should be exact the same with the code in our catalog. So I suggest you can reference our catalog and then input the code. For example, in this kitchen, the door material is KQ008. This is the finished material code. So we input this code. We became KQ008. And for some kind of material, can be one side or both sides. For example, for this one, for the kitchen, or for the lacquer, acrylic, laminate, can be both one side or double side. So we must choose. So for this one, we choose one side. Next is for linear meter lens. This is the total width of the base cabinet. We can go back to the drawing. Here is the base cabinet, this side. This side is another base cabinet. Here the island is also the base cabinet. In this side, the length, total length of the base cabinet is 2.55 meter. In this side, the total length is 2 meter. Two meter. This side, the island, the total width is 1.8 meter. So the total length of the base cabinet is 2.55 plus 2 plus 1.8 meter. So we can get 6.35 okay. Next is for the heart. Here we just input the rear heart of the base cabinet we became. As we know, the, our stand heart of the base cabinet is 762. And in this kitchen, the heart of the base cabinet is also 762, the standard one. So we just input the 762 we became. 762 millimeter. Now we can get the price, 1875 This is the price just for the base cabinet. It includes the base cabinet carcass, base cabinet door, and some basic hardware. Okay, this is for the base cabinet. Next is the wall cabinet. Similar as the base cabinet, first we must input the code of the wall cabinet door finish material. KQ008. One side. Next is for linear meter length, the total length of the wall cabinet. We go back to the drawing. From the wall cabinet plan, we can see the total length, the total width of the wall cabinet is 550 plus 550 plus 450. So the total length of the wall cabinet is 1.6 meter, or 1.6 meter. So we input 1.6 meter. We have okay. Next is for the carcass, the heart. Here is the rear heart of the wall cabinet. Our stand heart of the wall cabinet is 762, and in these drawers. This kitchen, the heart of wall cabinet is a stand heart, 762. So we just input 762. We have okay. Now we can, we can get the wall cabinet price. Okay, next is the tall cabinet. The same. First, input the door material, KQ008. For one side. Next for linear meter length, the total length of the tall cabinet. From the base cabinet plan, we can see the tall cabinet, the three tall cabinet. One, two, three. And the total width is 1.8 meter. 
So we just input 1.8 with the web key, 1.8. Next is the heart. From the drawing, we can see the heart of the tall cabinet is 2134 millimeter, which is the stand heart. So we input the heart 2134 millimeter, web key. So for the tall cabinet, it's finished. Next is for the fake door. It's the same. First, we must input the door material. In this kitchen, the fake door, we use the same material as the door. So it's KQ008. Just uh, one side. Here is area, the total area of the fake door. We can go back to the drawing to calculate the total area of the fake door. From the base camera plan drawing, we can see here is a fake door near with the tall cabinet. Here is two fake door, the two sides of the island. In the back side of the island, there is another fake door here. For the wall cabinet, here is two fake door because this is the width of the side, so we design two fake door here. So now we can calculate the total area of the fake door. The total area of the fake door of this kitchen is 0 0.62 multiplied by 2.134 multiplied by 1. This means the area of the this fake door. As we, because we know the depth of this fake door is 620 millimeter. And the height from the elevation we can see is 2134 millimeter. So this is the this part is the area of the fake door of this piece for this one. The similar with these two, these two fake door, the depth is six 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 hundred twenty the depth of this fake door is six hundred and twenty millimeter. The heart is the same heart as the base cabinet. From elevation C, we can see it. The same heart as the base cabinet, 762, two piece. So the area is 0 0.62 multiplied by 0 0.762 multiplied by 2, two piece. The similar, next for this part, this fake door. The total length is 1.84 meter. The height is the same height as the base cabinet. So his area is 1.84 multiplied by 0 0.762 multiplied by 1, only one piece. Okay, next for the wall cabinet, there's two factor here. The depth is 325 millimeter. The height is the same height as the wall cabinet. From elevation, we can see it. Fake door, fake door. The same height as the wall cabinet, which means 762. So the area of these two fake door is 0 0.325 multiplied by 0 0.762 multiplied by 2. OK, so this is the total area of this kitchen. And then we can get is 4.17 square meter. So we just input 4.17 square meter. We have okay. Now we can get the price of the fake door. Since we already finished the fake door, so for this part, for this two, we must input zero. This is important because if we do, if we don't input zero, there will be a price here, not this. So we must input zero. Okay, now for the fake door is finished. Okay, next we come to the profit coefficient. Now this coefficient is one, which means this price is only all past sales price before the discount. It's not including the our dealer's profit. If you want to make this price include the dealer's profit, you can change this coefficient. Suppose we make this two. 
Okay, now you can see all this price is double. And now this price is already included the dealer's profit, and this price is before discount. As to how much should we send this co profit coefficient, this is decided by our dealers. Okay, now we change it back to one, which means it's only all past sales price before discount. Okay, next is the contour. In this kitchen, the contour material we can see in the contour plan, the material is called stone. The code is dmt one four seven. One four seven. So we input, just input the code we will get dmt one four seven. Okay. Next here is the linear meter length of the contour. We go back to the drawing. From these plan drawings, we can see there's a three piece contour. One, two, three. And for this this one, the depth six fifty. This one is also depth six fifty. So we can calculate these two pieces together. And the length is two point six two meter. Two point six two meter plus two point zero two meter. So total is 4.64 meter. So input 4.64 meter will be okay. Next, next here is the depth. The depth of the contour. For these two, the depth is 650. So we just input 6, 650 will be okay. Now we can get the price. This price is for these two. For these two. Next is for this one. This island. The length is 1.9 meter and the depth is 950. So input the code dump ty 147 the same material. Okay? The total length is 1.9 meter and the depth is 950 millimeter. Now we can get the price. Since we already finished the contour, so for this part, this one, we must input zero. Okay? So this price is zero. And this coefficient is similar with this one, the same. Okay, next is for the slider and the portal brace. For these two parts, as we know, this price, this price, is only including the carcass price, the door price, some basic hardware price. For example, the hinger, the buffer, the handle. And don't include the price of the draw ladder. And also don't include the price of the porter bracing. So for these two parts, we must exchange. First is for the ladder. This one is easy. We just select the draw ladder cord which we already use in our design and then input the quantity we have okay. And then in this kitchen, from the drawer we can see here is the drawers ladder. It's blue concealed drawers ladder and the code is BC-05-50. One, okay? Here's another one, two, three. Three, the same code. So it's finished. Only four draws ladder. So we select the draws ladder here, and the quantity is four. Now it's okay. Because in this kitchen we have we use, we only use one kind of draws ladder. So for others we must input zero, 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 and zero. Next is for the portal bracing. This part we also call the door fittings. If we design some buffer door, some uplift door, up movie door, slide door, in this case we must select the corresponding door fitting and input the quality. 
Here is all the dofit code and here is the code G. But in this kitchen, we don't design some uplift door, up move door, buffer door or slide door. There's no door fitting. So for this part, we only to only to input zero we have okay. Because there's no port brace in this kitchen. Next is for the function accessories and uh, appliance. For these two parts, it's uh, well easy. We just we just need to select the corresponding code with the which we already use in our design, and then input the quality we became. For example, in this kitchen, we already use the sink. The sink. This is the accessories. The code of the sink is OPPS nine two one six dash TC, and then the cutlery. The code is OPCT zero six zero two, and then is the pull out. Two kind of pull out. Okay, now. First, we just select the code WebK. First, with the sync. The code, the code of sync is OPPS nine two one six TC. Select the code. The code thing is one. Next, it's a pull out basket. For this one, the code is OPLB zero six zero TLA. Pull our basket. The code. The code here is one. Next is another pull out basket. The code is LB zero six zero WLA. Only one piece. Next is for this one, the cutlery. So select the cutlery. Two piece. Now for all of the accessories, we finish. So for others, must input zero, zero. Zero and zero. Next is for appliance. It's similar with the accessories, functional accessories. In this kitchen, the appliance is the one microwave. The code is M six one nine. The oven, the code is K six zero four, and then the rain hood. The code is R S six eight eight, and then rain hood. Rain hood. The code is. Q six one seven. Now we select it one by one. First for the cooktop. Q six one seven. Select cooktop. The code. Six one seven. One piece. Next is the rain hood. The code is R S six eight S. This one, one piece. Next for the microwave. The code is M six one nine. One. Next for the oven. The code is K six zero four. Only one. Now for all the appliances, we are finished. So for others, we must input zero, zero. Okay.
Okay, the next part is for the others. Others. For this part is for the others, which is not included in the previous part. For example, if we design some class of kitchen, we always usually design the decorative panel, the light corners, the corners, and the special cabinet, rain hood cover, or something like that. For this part, his price is not included in this part. We must extra charge and then input his price here. Okay, suppose in this kitchen we have designed the decorative panel. In that case, we must add the price here. For example, the decorative panel. Suppose his price is 300 US dollar. Suppose his price is 300 US dollar. And this price we can calculate according to the corresponding quotation rooms. Now it's just an example of 300 US dollar. And suppose the discount is 0 0.6, 60%. This is a discount. This is the final price. This one. Might provide this one. So this is the final price of the decorative panel. If you have the corners, light corners, and the space cabinet, something like that, we must input the price here, not like this. But in this kitchen, there is no decorative panel, so we just input zero. Okay, input zero, zero. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now when we finish all of this part, we can get the price, the roughly price. 700, 7,334 US dollar before this call. And this price is without our dealer's profit because of this profit coefficient we set to 1. So this is just open sales price before this call and it's the roughly price. Suppose we make this call 6%, okay? This is the price after this call. And for this kitchen, I already made the unit calculation, the accurate calculation of, of this kitchen. Now you can see the difference. Okay, this is the unit calculation of this kitchen. The final price is 700, 7,133 US dollar. This is accurate price, the final price before this call. This is the rough price. Now you can see the difference. It's very close and the error is around 3%. So from this example we can see the price from the first question is very close to the accurate price. And we can control this error with 5%. Okay, so much for the kitchen fast pressure. Thank you.